I've been sifting through this gravel for an hour, two hours now. And I'll tell you what, hard work has paid off, folks, because we finally came in. It's been flooded or near flooded for a really long time now. It's the rainy time of the year and it's been really good weather all week. It has barely rained, so everything's kind of drained off, you know, the side streams. And that's why I wanted to go today. Um, there's a little stream out here off Little Canal River I decided to hit. There's big sandbar. I had taken the kids out here a few seasons ago. We took the two older ones and the dog and we went out and looked and that was back we really didn't know what we were looking for as much or where to find it and i've been eyeballing this place because i drive by every day for work or almost every day and uh we're gonna head out there and we're gonna give it a look today so we'll see you when we get there i tell you if there's anything left that's seen anything from the Native American days. It's that tree right there. It's still partially alive. But it's dying off in a bunch of spots there. And that is the biggest tree in these whole woods. I mean, there's nothing. It looks like that tree looks like it's the same thickness, but that tree right there is a heck of a lot closer. I mean, that thing's just massive down there. Who's to say maybe a Native American rested under it? Not sure what side of the river the trail was on. And yeah, there could have been a trail on each side just for ease of access and stuff. And of course this river was easier to traverse back in the day, but it's just neat to kind of think the history used to be here before any of us were. Where this river meets the Little Kanawha. I'm not sure the name of the trail, but the Little Kanawha had a Native American trail that went up it into the mountains. And I think it met the um, Seneca Trail, which is a pretty well-known Indian trail, somewhere in the Monongahela Forest. Because all these rivers kind of meet up there. Some of them are on one side of the river, uh, hill and go into the Little Kanawha and uh, Monongahela into the Ohio, and others go into the on down like the Elk River and go into the canal and go into the Ohio to more southern point. Uh, it started at the Ohio where the little canal goes into the Ohio River and it just followed it up into the mountains. I'm not sure where the uh, intersection point was exactly. I've been doing a little bit of studying on that but I need to find some better sources because a lot of stuff I find on the internet is pretty vague but this has potential because there's been past history of them traveling through here and we're not very far off the little canola so we're up this creek not even a quarter of a mile so this has a lot of potential these sandbars here to have something in it so hopefully we can, take our time. we can find something other than modern artifacts and i know we're going to find modern artifacts because i see them everywhere if we find anything whole from there we'll pick those up too but we're going to do our due diligence here and hopefully we'll find something. Pieces won't so glaze or wet. Well, cool to have a whole one of them or even just a bigger piece to add some writing on it. Sometimes I find old ones that have some type of writing on them. I'll take the shards. We'll leave that one. Sure, what we got here is. Oh! That's an old porcelain doorknob. I never found one of them. I've seen them. I never found one while I was out sifting and looking for stuff. I'll put that in my little porcelain pile when I get home. It's got a crack there. Other than that dinged up but it's intact. Get another one here. 
not the doorknob, but another porcelain piece. And that is a whole mason jar lid. So I like collecting them. They're not really, I don't think they're worth anything. I've never really looked it up because I found so many, but they're just kind of fun to keep a hold of when I find them. So pretty cool. Not sure how I passed that one up. That's why you double back. Now that would have been a cool find. There's a little, little, oh gosh! Scared the daylights out of me. I didn't even hear you coming. And don't jump on me, sweetheart. We got us a friend here. Hey! What are your dogs doing? Two of them. They scared the dickens out of me. They're good old boys though, ain't you? Um, girls, I can't tell. Uh, 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 uh. Don't jump on me. Y'all muddy. There's romance in the air there, boys. <laughs> Some good dogs. I'm just glad they were happy to see me and not angry. Oh, they're sticking around. This one's got a address on his collar. That one there slipped the collar, I don't think. That's a girl and that's a boy here. Well, I'm just glad they're friendly. I deliver a lot of freight and some dogs aren't. A dog that size is bad news when he don't like you. But these are good guys here. Good gals. You pups better get home. And there they go. On to their next adventure. There's lots of houses around me. I'm sure they're just neighborhood dogs. Maybe they're a neighborhood watch. They're going up there and making sure that suspicious vehicle is up to no good or not. <laughs> Alright, folks, we finally found something. I, I want to kind of put it back how it was. As a, I just barely noticed it. That rock here. I think it was that rock. It might have been this rock here. I flipped it over. That's an end scraper. I mean, that's worked all the way around. So, <laughs> pretty excited because I've been had a pretty dry streak lately. I think that's an end scraper. I'm not I'm not as well versed in identifying what the pieces are, but I know when I find a piece, for the most part, when I find a piece that's been worked. And that's definitely that fits the description, guys. Like a, I think a thumb scraper is what they call it. That's cool. That's why you slow down, folks. This spot right here, a little pole there, and I've kind of walked out there around it you can see over there where i've been putting all my lids and it's about 25 feet away and i've walked right through there and i've been all out and through there I mean, it's this whole thing's about 150 feet long and i just come back through and happen to notice it that's pretty cool All right, we got our first one on the board for today. <laughs>